Welcome to a uh, little Fort Knox news. A happy, what is it, Wednesday morning. Um, I caught up yesterday with Google Cloud CEO Thomas Curian, C3 AI CEO Tom Siebel, uh, to talk about the cloud and AI partnership that the companies just announced this morning. So uh, I want to share that with you right now. Here's that conversation that I had with Thomas Curian of Google Cloud and C3 AI's Tom Siebel. Well, the news is relatively simple. We're announcing a first of its kind partnership between Google Cloud and C3 AI. There are three pieces to this partnership. First, the entire portfolio of C3 AI applications and platform will be available on Google Cloud. Uh, second, we're working with the C3 AI team to integrate the, the, the products. For example, to have the C3 AI platform use some of the services in Google Cloud Platform to deliver joint solutions in a variety of industries, manufacturing, supply chain, financial services, communications, and others. And third, we're going to align our go-to-market, customer service, and other organizations to fulfill our shared vision of delivering enterprise AI solutions together to the market. Wow, that, that's a lot more comprehensive than I'd even expected to hear. Uh, to what degree is this exclusive? Are you going to do any other AI and platform-related partnerships like this? You know, Tom should comment on how he sees it from C3 AI's point of view, but for us, we are going to work very deeply both on the go-to-market side, but also on the product integration side to enable some unique scenarios by combining our two product offerings together. Okay, Tom, well, what about it? Uh, th this is a, it sounds like a major collaboration, the, the type of which you wouldn't be doing with every mega scale cloud provider. How did it come to be and how significant is it from your perspective? This is big news, John, and the way this came to this came about by our customers asking us to work together. Our customers in public sector, in manufacturing, in health, in telecommunications, and financial services. So we've entered into a strategic alignment uh, whereby we have optimized all the C3 AI applications for manufacturing, for supply chain, for financial services, et cetera, uh, to, you know, to, to tightly integrate uh, the Google uh, Elastic Cloud and AI services, be it Kubernetes, Bigtable, BigQuery, what have you, Vertex. And uh, those are today all uh, completely certified on the uh, Google Cloud platform. And now we're aligning the uh, global C3 AI sales and service organization with the very considerable global uh Google Cloud sales and service organization. This expands the C3 distribution capacity from order of 50 salespeople to order of 4,000 salespeople, where we are now uh, offering these products and services tightly integrated in Asia, in Europe, in North America, in public sector, in manufacturing, uh, to be able to deliver you know, very high value uh, fully cloud-enabled enterprise AI solutions globally. So this is a this is a major partnership. Uh, Thomas and I are serving, you know, personally as the executive sponsors of this partnership to make sure that it succeeds, and uh, we are committed to uh, kind of dramatically expand the elastic cloud computing and enterprise AI market, and assure that each and every one of our customers are just elated with our products and services. Now, both of you guys are veterans of enterprise uh, software and veterans of Oracle, as a matter of fact, and know what it takes to roll out uh, partnerships and have broad industry impact. Thomas, when we were talking two, three years ago, you were talking about the importance of building up Google Cloud's sales and go-to-market capability, the hiring you were doing there. Is this you now building on that so that in a platform sense, in partnerships like this, you can accelerate impact? Yes, John. Uh, you know, the quick 
we hugely scaled our direct sales and go-to-market organization, our customer service teams, our customer success teams, as well as a big partner ecosystem, you know, whether it's with the global system integrators, for example. Uh, second, we also see, we had a vision that AI would transform enterprises by being adopted inside core business applications and enterprises. We've obviously known Tom's team for many years and many of his senior engineering leaders that really know each other. And so we've seen they have a shared vision for it and bringing the, the technology capabilities that C3 has, C3 AI has, their focus on industries along with our focus in industries through our common ecosystems as well as through our large sales organizations as a big part of this exercise. Now, while I've got you, Thomas, tell me how the go-to-market process has changed and how the playbook needs to change for enterprise as we hope we're coming out of this pandemic, but it's, um, it's a stubborn pandemic. Uh, how has that go-to-market process shifted and how do you expect that to affect this partnership? You know, we see two important things. One is that organizations have understood that through the pandemic, digitization of their business is the central thing that is needed. And the underlying digitization problem is really being able to understand your data really well. Understanding your data about customers, understanding your data about supply chain, understanding your data about inventory risk, et cetera. So we have organized you know, our go-to-market organization not just to sell solutions in IT, but also bring solutions outside of IT to business executives because increasingly they want to see results faster. And just a practical example, working with the C3 AI team, a lot of organizations in manufacturing and supply chain use our platform to collect data about their broader supply chain. But they want algorithms to understand inventory risk because if a part is in short supply, you can deliver your overall product offering and Tom's C3 AI platform has some very sophisticated inventory risk modeling and visibility algorithms. So by combining our solutions together, for example, we can offer a solution to customers in that area. Yeah. And John, if I can add, I think yeah. that you know, Thomas's vision, you know, uh, that, that he laid out a couple of years ago as it relates to the hyperscaler market. Okay, was was not simply to sell speeds and feeds and CPU seconds, but to sell turnkey solutions in manufacturing, in banking, in precision health, and what have you. And and the, and the people at Google Cloud have done really fantastic work in the last couple of years building that those solutions out. Okay, now with the addition of you know over forty turnkey AI enterprise applications from C three AI. And the C3 AI platform. I mean, we're we're extending that vision uh, of Thomas's vision, and it really puts them in a unique competitive position in the hyperscaler market to deliver, you know, turnkey solutions to the customers that you know offer inventory optimization and demand forecasting and customer churn and cybersecurity and energy efficiency and what have you. And yes, as a secondary effect, you burn CPU seconds and you consume storage, but most importantly. You're offering economic and social benefit uh, to the customers and society at large. So I think this is an inflection point in the and market. Tom, Tom that, that's the criticism that I used to hear of Google Cloud, kind of pre-Thomas Kurian. Uh, Kurian was, was great technology, but maybe not as focused on practical solutions, right? So it's like you could find some cool technology, but you had to, you know, some assembly required. Uh, are you saying that part of the vision here is more directly addressing industry needs, both in what Google Cloud has been able to do over the past couple of years under Thomas and what C3 is bringing? Thomas, I'm going to let you answer that because I think the answer is a definite yes. I mean, we just just that absolutely hits the bullseye. So, Thomas, I'll let you. Yeah. Come. John, I couldn't say it more or better. Frankly, yes. I mean, we see that the speed of digitization has picked up. Uh, you know, CEOs want solutions to business problems faster. C3 AI had a vision for a long time that 
making enterprise AI viable for industries requires platform and applications that they can use. And they share our vision to deliver business value faster. And our combination is, is focused exactly on what you say, uh, to deliver value faster, more repeatably to the most important business problems facing the industry. And is that, uh, Thomas, as I'll go to each of you as we close, is that, Thomas, where you think the differentiation and acceleration can be for Google Cloud versus AWS versus Microsoft, Azure, even though perhaps in a sense uh, they, they have a scale lead by focusing in on those pain points and those specific use cases for customers, uh, you can grow your business faster? Yes. All right. Uh, Tom, how, how does this influence then the acceleration of C3 AI's business and to what degree will you be able to uh, make the case that you work maybe not just as well, but also well on other platforms, including AWS and Azure? Well, we continue to support the other, I mean, as you know, we work with the other cloud providers, but I think there is no cloud provider with which I've done for certain. Okay, there is no hyperscaler provider where we have done, you know, this level of integration with our underlying services. There is no cloud provider where we're doing this, where we have aligned the incentives of our global distribution, our, our, our market partner ecosystem, and our service ecosystem to assure the success of customers. And, you know, none, you know, we have things that be very difficult from a customer's perspective to see where, you know, C3 starts and, and Google picks up. I mean, we're just there to, you know, assure their success. I think we're going to be in a position to provide very high levels of assurance of success. And, and uh, I'm confident this will, you know, accelerate the growth of enterprise AI and continue to accelerate the already accelerating growth of what's going on in Google Cloud. Makes me wonder uh, how close they got to just a straight out acquisition. If you can't tell where one starts and, uh, and the other starts, where one stops and the other begins, that is Google Cloud CEO Thomas Curian, C3 AI CEO Tom Siebel. Hear more about this plus analysis uh, today on CNBC on Tech Check, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, I'll be there. And Sanjay Poonin, uh, you know, software, uh, enterprise software veteran will be there as well. We'll talk about it. This has been Fort Knox. See you soon.